Hi, this is Scott Garibay, and today we're going to talk about Dungeons & Dragons, and we're going to talk about benefits that we're getting out of the Dungeons & Dragons, D &D, out of the Dungeons & Dragons, out of the, the Dungeons & Dragons, OGL 1.1, uh, it's caused a huge firestorm in the spring, in the, in the winter of 2023, uh, actually specifically in January of 2023, uh, it's been a lot of emotion, a lot of, um, upset, a lot of vexation over... Uh, the D&D OGL 1.1, but I think if you look carefully at the OGL 1.1, it, it's already, like, bringing a lot of blessings, right? Two, right out of the bat, are we, it started the great Grognard Exodus, there was a lot of old men who were very upset with Dungeons & Dragons, who had been threatening for a long time to leave Dungeons & Dragons, and now they're doing it, like, one, D&D oh, &D, OGL 1.1 has started the great Grognard Exodus, uh, Professor Dungeon Master Dave Thomavore, um, game on, um, RPGs and more. Um, there's uh, AJ Pickett, uh, like, and and there are many, many more who are like, hey, I really want to cling to D and D's past. I don't really want to be part of D and D's future. Um, bye bye, you know. And so that's been a really nice blessing. And then um, there, you know, there are these distinct, really good things coming out of the D and D. Uh, oh, and um, Cobbled Press has announced uh, Project um, Black Flag, which is a uh, which they are saying, hey, you know, Cobbled Press, we've been around for a long time, we don't have our own rules engine, which is shocking. And and the D and D OGL 1.1 got them to get off their butt and you know actually become a real tabletop role play game company with you know with their own rules system. That's good. That's a huge blessing. Here's the last one. So this one's a little more personal, a little smaller scale, but it's important. It's really important. I'm gonna I'm gonna handle this one very gently. But Nerd Immersion, Nerd Immersion is a fantastic. Uh, he's got a fantastic channel. I highly encourage you. To, well, I, I, I was gonna say go over there, but actually, it's not great right now. Like uh, Nerd Immersion is very. So Nerd Immersion for the last year has been moving toward a hundred thousand subscribers, and he was extremely excited about Dungeons and Dragons, right? But and then he said in one of his recent videos that he was actually considering going pro on on D and D commentary, which is incredible, right? Like uh, because he hit he was, he was hitting a hundred thousand subscribers, and so he was thinking about telling his family, right? He has a you know has a, a family, like he's got people who rely on him, right? And that that he was going to go pro on D and D commentary, which is, to me is unthinkable. Honestly, I'll tell you right now, it, I I love Dungeons and Dragons. Do not, do not, do not try to make a career in tabletop role-playing games. I have seen nothing but ruin uh, based on anyone trying to make, like, basically, tabletop role-playing games are, is not, they are not an industry that can support families. It just simply isn't. I doubt a hundred families in the world are supported, even moderately, on tabletop role-playing game money. It's just... It is a terrible, terrible industry to try to build a career in. You will make no money. Like, no one goes into tabletop role-playing games for money. In fact, the video game industry is essentially, literally functions as, uh, in my humble opinion, functions as a retirement plan for any TTRPG person. Mike Pondsmith, I'm going to put it right at him. Right? The cool one, not the junior. Uh, like, okay, so, it, it's, well, I guess the junior, he did do cyberpunk, so I guess he's doing some stuff. But, like, his dad did a lot more. Uh, so like, all right. So basically, um, so Nerd Immersion was actually considering, right, going pro on D and D commentary. That is a catastrophically bad idea. And I know this personally because I have seen people go pro on D and D commentary, and I can tell you, it ends in tears and flames. I could, I could, I have never seen anyone. I have a, I have a list of people I could tell you who went pro on D and D commentary and they burned a lot of bridges, a lot of friendships, a lot of family relationships. It is, it is a hot mess, right? So the reality, and, and here's the thing. So, so nerd immersion was extremely excited about Dungeons and Dragons, even six months ago, right now, all it took, all it took to dampen his spirits at his, to literally douse his inspiration for Dungeons and Dragons was the release of one legal document? That's all it took to douse his excitement for Dungeons and Dragons? That man has no 
no business even considering putting the the livelihood of his family, the the food that will go in his family's mouth, on the on the future of D and D commentary. Like the idea that anybody would even consider that seems outrageously outlandish. And so I am very happy that the D and D OGL 1.1, um, re, you know, leak made nerd immersion really think twice about putting the financial, you know, the financial stability of his family on D and D commentary. Right? I, I would not even suggest anyone would ever go into tabletop role playing game make, making making tabletop role playing games. The idea that you could feed a family on D and D commentary is ludicrous. And frankly, I don't know a single person who does it. I don't think there is anyone who does it. I don't think anyone, anyone feeds a family on D&D commentary. No one. Right? Like, uh, you might be able to feed your mouth, it, like, feed you, it, you in a body pillow. Like, if you're lucky. Right? Like, so, you know, so, so I, you know, I think it's a, it's good timing that, you know, that this really made nerd immersion stop and think and say, hey, maybe I wouldn't, shouldn't put the, the financial stability of my family on D&D commentary. That is a horrifically bad idea. And I am, I, I'm, I feel bad for Nerd Immersion because I can see he really, like, it, the, his fire for Dungeons & Dragons was doused by the leaking of a single, a single legal document. That's, uh, that's, that to me, you certainly have no business, you know, quitting or for realsies job for that. Like, that's just my humble opinion. And I'm glad it brought him to his senses before he made a choice that, that could have been very, very, uh, uncomfortable for him and his family and uh, and so I think he's a skilled person that has you know and, and while well, he talks about it openly he's like I got a full-time job and you know and he's got a sound skill set right and like so the idea that there was even a consideration of putting any any fine any family's fine financial stability on the back of D&D commentary uh, the industry making of tabletop role-playing games is not is literally not strong enough to feed families in my humble opinion there's I, I doubt less than a hundred families in the entire world are are fed on on the money. Like it is a beer and pretzels industry. Like, and that's one of the reasons why I'm I'm so adamant about the, like people about people like those greedy corporate Hasbro people. They made one billion dollars. Do you understand that the video game industry, a single game, can make hundreds of billions of dollars? Like, it's uh, like the idea that like that's. It's crazy. I I just don't like. I don't even understand what anybody's talking about. Like the you know the idea that one billion dollars is a lot of money. It's not. These are these are incredibly niche. Um, and so the idea is no one should be trying to feed a family on D and D commentary. And so I'm glad I'm kind of I the D and D OGL one point one is bringing real gifts to the world, right? And 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 fixing real problems, right? Like. It's a problem that, you know, Cabo Press did not have their own, you know, RPG system. I wrote an RPG system, like my own rule system. Like, I'm working on my second, like, and, and Cabo Press didn't have any? That seems out, you know, that, I can't believe we're here. All that is my humble opinion. I'm very ready to hear your humble opinion. Please get in the comments. Send your traffic. Please consider liking and subscribing. Have a wonderful morning.